We want to solve the given boundary value problem. Suppose x double prime plus x equals zero, and x of zero equals zero, and x prime of pi equals one. We're asked to find all these solutions if they exist. We begin by determining the general solution to the differential equation. We can do this using the corresponding characteristic equation. For a quick review, when we have a linear second order homogeneous DE with constant coefficients in the form shown here, the type of roots of the characteristic equation AR squared plus BR plus C equals zero indicates the form of the general solution. So going back to our problem, notice the characteristic equation is R squared plus one equals zero. Solving for R, we have R equals plus or minus I. Because we have two complex solutions where alpha is equal to zero and beta is equal to one, the general solution is in the form of X of T equals A cosine T plus b sine t. And now we consider the conditions. First, we have x of zero equals zero, which means if we substitute zero for t into the general solution, the function value must be zero. This gives us a cosine zero plus b sine zero equals zero, and since sine zero is zero and cosine zero is one, this is only true when a is equal to zero. So now we know that x of t must equal b sine t. And now we consider the second condition, x prime of pi equals one, which means for the next step we determine x prime of t, x prime of t is equal to b cosine t, and now we substitute pi for t into the derivative function and set it equal to one. This gives us b cosine pi equals one, and cosine pi is equal to negative one. The equation simplifies to negative b equals one, and therefore b equals negative one. This indicates there's only one solution to the boundary value problem, which is x of t equals negative one sine t, or x of t equals negative sine t. I hope you found this helpful.